Spicy Wolf Flying Corwin. And I'm Uko. And we are back with more Heretical Doom heading into the Confluence. Is it going to be the Avad River Confluence? I from hope so. Total Annihilation? Best dude, map dude. ever. Total Annihilation. Actually, it's kind of a shitty map. If you uh, really yeah, think you're about right. It, but, but it had a I cool still, name. I still love playing on it, okay? If you've never played Total Annihilation, it's the only truly good... Uh, you know, sci-fi uh, strategy game. I'm looking at you when I say that, StarCraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm call I'm calling StarCraft out right now. It ain't shit compared to Total Annihilation. Okay. Planetary Annihilation and is okay. And these Supreme dudes Commander right was here. Okay. These dudes right here. They're facing Total Annihilation in the face. And even Total Rectal Annihilation, which is. The most painful form of annihilation, okay? Yeah. Maybe urethral annihilation I was might gonna, be similarly I was painful, literally going to okay? say that. Maybe That's how on brand annihilation might be similar. You know what? I've been catheterized. I've never had somebody probe my butt. But being catheterized was pretty unpleasant, okay? It was, it was pretty unpleasant. But I could see there being more unpleasant things. So for all I know, anal annihilation... My, which sounds like the name of a porn website. For all I know, okay, what about, for all I know, Anal Annihilation might actually be a porn I'm gonna website. Hit, I'm, okay, at the risk <laughs> at the risk of giving sadists ideas, yes. Sriracha Catheter. Sriracha Catheter. Good band name too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sounds like something they sell at Jack in the Box. <laughs> But Ew. Jack in the Box is one of those store. One of those. One, it was one of those. You know, restaurants that was like. All in on the sriracha craze a while back, okay. And then, then they even had the didn't they have the fake ass Szechuan sauce or whatever? Oh I, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Okay, so you don't get to talk about Szechuan sauce because your ass still hasn't yeah, seen I, Rick and Morty. I, I, look, I I'm a heretic when it comes to Rick and Morty. I I don't give a shit about no pickle Rick. You, you'll okay? be one of us one day. Fool. Pickle Rick can suck on my... This wait, this is like the Evad River that Confluence is, right here, actually, okay? Uko's going to put in... The Evad River Confluence is a map in Total Annihilation, but it was, it it could was more be. triangular. Uko's going to put in a picture of the Evad River Confluence. Was this was this before <laughs> or after that game? Uh, this was significantly before, like three or four so years, could, I think so. Could the Evad River Confluence be a you know reference what? to this? It could be. It fucking could You'll be. you learn a new thing Dude, every day. I love this weird fist condom that you use to kill people, okay? This weird fist okay, condom. Okay, here's the question. It knows what's good. Here's the question. Do you think it's got a handle that you grip inside of it, or do you think it just sort of jams over your fist? I think it just jam actually, I think it like it just sort of like, you know, friction fits to it. And you As gotta opposed make sure to you don't move like up your fist. Because okay? what it, I, I think it has a handle in there, like those with well, a pata th weapon. What if, that, what if the India? bone things just sort of like go all the way? What if instead of being Individual oh, it just spikes. Oh, it just spikes into what your fist. What if instead it's yeah, exactly, exactly it becomes it, part of your fist. And then, do we ever see his left hand or his left hand again? Maybe that's Once why he holds, on? It holds everything else with his. Actually, we don't, we, I don't think up. you see it when you when you reload. It's with the other hand. It's, it's the other hand. So maybe it's just permanently so maybe jammed it's onto permanently his fist. Jammed onto his fist. You know what? I tell us your, to believe tell that. Tell us what you believe okay. in um, the comments below. I keep forgetting. About um, when I reloaded, it exploded the spikes out of the rest of them. That's Does it do damage? The, I don't. I don't think so. It would be weird if it did damage to me, dude. I fucked. I fucked them up. Okay, I fucked them up all day. No, 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 no. Um, this thing may be the coolest thing in the game. That uh, motherfucker. People said that apparently the original, like in the original Heretic, this thing was freaking awful unless you used it with one of the power ups, and in which case then it would like one shot bosses or something like that. That's I, really interesting. I'm kind of yeah, I'm, I'm interested in I that. I need to answer at more some, comments. At some I point, was slacking. At some point, I need to check out the original Heretic and see how it, you know... How it stacks how up. How it stacks up to upgraded, new, and improved, extra-sexual Heretic, okay? No, 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 you don't, mummy boy. Those guys look like mummies to me. They always they fucking do. They might be mummies. Do. I mean, there's no reason why they couldn't be some sort of, well, of course mummy, they're gone. okay? Well, they're mummies. De they're de mummy. They're Demon mummies, mummies also known as dim mummies. That's what or dim mummies, maybe even. Okay, dim dim mummy boys. Dim sweet sweet mummies that uh, I'm gonna be boning day mummies. Okay, <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't I didn't read it, but I saw a headline something about a mummy like mummy smuggling scandal. Mummy or like, smuggling or like scandal. A, or like a mummy smuggling ring getting broken up or something in Egypt. 
that's that's pretty fucking wild, dude. I know. I mean, I mean, that's messed up. Don't look, dude. I I mean, don't don't be smuggling people's like ancestors. It's, don't be it's smuggling not, people. Don't be smuggling people either. Okay. Don't be most, smuggling any people most living people or dead. Already know that, but some people think that it's okay to smuggle the corpses of dead people. Okay? That, yeah, that's highly disrespectful. It's, it's not cool, man. Now, I know that supposedly the British used to like occasionally fuel trains by throwing mummies like into them. Stacks and stacks of mummies. That's just, that's about. That, and look, then also there was know, a pigment, a brown pigment that was made mummy-um, of crushed up mummies. Mummium? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's what we're going to call it, mummium. Burnt, okay. burnt mumber. <laughs> Better than Burt Member, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> well, a part, of, part of it could be. You know what? When you're right, you're right. And right now, you're fucking you right. You think okay. anybody I ever ate a mummy? Door over there. I saw a blue. Ah, ah, here we well, go. Well, actually, people did make pictures out of it, would, too. Um, okay, like out of mummy powder. I Okay, I knew, I knew that something was going to happen. It was like, it was one of those something it has to give kind of moments. When I picked that thing up, I knew some evil motherfuckers were going to... Um, I have so many of my, like, death flasky boys, okay? I have 16 grenades. All, I'm, I'm, like, stacked up to the heretic... Heretities, okay? Stacked up stacked to the heretic. Stacked up to the heretities. That's, that's what... Past the heretic. The, the heretities are stacked like pancakes, okay? That's, that's what it is. Remember a while back when the International House of Pancakes claimed they were going to change their name to IHOB? And be the International, International House, House of Burgers. Burgers. And everybody got minute. like really, really upset about that. Everybody I assume. has known it was bullshit since nobody saw them going around changing the signs to say I hop. Yeah, okay? exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should have really, that should have tipped us off. But here's the question. And I assume they have IHOP in Canada and probably in Mexico. But is no, how international? No, how inter- it, it ain't gonna be international for shit. Because okay? they call themselves all, international. They call themselves uh, themselves themselves the international but house of they? pancakes. But that's just some bullshit where they put a whole bunch of photos of or like engravings, engravings of, of flags. flags on their on their in the like, booth booth window things. <laughs> for people who live where there aren't IHOPs, none like of this will make sense. Cons- yeah. <laughs> Stop squishing my penis. Dude, but yeah, if you've never been to an IHOP, you won't know any of this stuff we're saying. You're just like, you're like, what on earth? I mean, I know that lots of people probably get confused by the shit that comes out of our mouths anyway, but you're probably like, you know, extra confused right here. You know what? Okay. What's funny is every time I go to IHOP, I have the boysenberry syrup when I was my a fucking kid, pancakes. When I was a kid, I loved going to IHOP, and like our mother would take me there like pretty much whenever I wanted to. And I would eat the funny face pancake, okay? And I remember when I, like, reached whatever age in which it was it was no longer, like, you know, couth in order to... Uh, to order the kid thing, order yeah. the funny face pancake. And I remember being really, like, internally sad about that, that okay? Is a, that's a I really like, sad rite of passage, man. I, I never like, thought no about more, that. No more funny funny face pancakes you for know the what? Corwin. What's funny, though, is you, you grew up well-adjusted, and but mom it, did a good you know job. What, you know what else it did? It caused me to be, like, some sort of weird deviant freak who wants to have uh, whip topping on top of my pancakes. Dude, okay? but here's the thing. We know, we know mom did a good if, job. If, if one if day you, I die of a whip topping pancake-related heart attack, we'll all know it's going to be the funny face pancake that... <laughs> That started me on the but, path to but de- degeneration. Tell me, I'm, okay. tell me I'm not right if I'm not, but I'm pretty sure that if you w- went to IHOP right now, you might very well be like, give me oh, a funny face. Today, today, yeah. I would have no that, shame. Look, if that's you're how there, you know you were raised right. Never, dude, if you are if you go there as an adult and order a funny face pancake. Do it, man. If you want to do it, do, do it. Do it if you fucking want to, because, like, the odds are... It, that'll like at worst that'll make somebody become like day. a cool story. That's I gotta I gotta heal myself here. It'll become a cool story that people get to tell. Like, hey, this dude came in and ordered the because funny I was using um heal me heal me. There we go. I may have used a whole bunch of unnecessary ass powers, but ass people, powers ass powers. Okay, use the ass powers to summon your funny face. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Well, yeah, people will probably back in the think bathhouse you're cool. again. Okay, you're gonna We're, get. Legionnaire's disease and wisteria. <laughs> Wizard steria. Wizard steria. Okay. Look, Moaning <laughs> Myrtle had better not come out here and try to like suck my dick off because I know that's how she rolls. Okay. 
We well, all you know, know what's really weird is we had seen the actress that played her in a bunch of like British murder mysteries yep. and stuff. So we, we knew we totally that had. she wasn't no fourteen year old ghost. Yeah. She was like it, she was it, like thirty five. It was kind of skeevy to us. Yeah, it made it weird. It really it made it really bit, weird. This woman who was like my age getting intimate on, with, with Harry young Potter. Daniel yeah, Radcliffe. it was, it was okay. very strange. That's that was some skeevy shit. Okay. Yeah. She, I mean, I know that she. For, for most of that, she was probably just green CGI style. In, yeah. But it still skeeved me out to see it. Okay. Yeah. It still skeeved me out to see it. it and besides, was, it would it have been necrophilia. Really, <laughs> dude. I'm going to say this right now, and you're going to think it's fucked up. It's not necrophilia to fuck a ghost, okay? I'm. Co it's only necrophilia if I you're touching. It it's only necrophilia if you're touching or jerking off onto a corpse. But okay, when it's, ectoplasm becomes sextoplasm, you're you're not you're not having sex with the, the the dead person. You're having sex with the still living spirit. Okay. Okay. So okay, here's I, the thing. Um, it just mashed them like there was no Dude. tomorrow. So we all know. Look, this thing, it, he attack and he attack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, he, okay, here's the, the other question. shooting me there? Anyway, go on. So we all know that squirting is pee. <laughs> yes. I, I, I'll, I'll say it. It's pee. But if a ghost squirts, is it just regular ectoplasm or is um, it pee? It's definitely ectoplasm. But the important thing is that it's okay it's okay to hump a ghost, okay? It's, you heard it here first. It is okay to hump a ghost. That's like spicy waffle wisdom there, okay? So if you wanna if you wanna bone a ghost, if especially if it's like, you know, a, a, a hot ghost, okay? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the I'm ghost talking about. Has a ghostly G spot. The G stands for ghost and, and Groffenberg. And look, look. Ladies out there who want to hump a hump a like hot male ghost, go for it. Okay. Didn't that's... Kesha say she had sex with a ghost? I think she might have. I remember okay. that. If, if Kesha wants to fucking bone a ghost, that's that's her business. Yeah, okay? that, literally, and the ghost, <laughs> and the ghost. That's true. Okay. That it, look, we have we have gone down a weird weird path with this YouTube video today. Uh, okay? Yeah, and we talked about ghost squirting, and it's we we, yeah. we, we, we look we've. This this look if this video gets demonetized again it's I ain't okay. Gonna complain. Yeah, okay? that's we really I have no leg to complain. stand on. We look, I think it's an important philosophical discussion okay? about whether ghost fucking is necrophilia. Yeah, yeah, I do. And also whether or not you can hit a ghost G spot. That's okay. That's the, well, you might be able to see it. It might be. It if might it, be if, easier if, if she's translucent. Okay. You can. It might I mean, just be, it might to, be easier. Just being able to see your dong. But then again, if. You know, we all know that some people out there they have trouble finding the clitoris. Well, which I don't which understand is weird because it's, it's it's right there and it's always you know at least roughly in the, the same, same place. At the same time, though, okay. see this is this is just weirdly this is weird. So spicy to say, waffle is not but, a sex education channel. No, it's not. Okay? But so don't at the take same any time, advice from us. At the same time, I guess you can kind of give people a pass if they were born during the time in which the bush was extremely large culturally. At first, I thought you were going to say something about during the Bush administration. No. And I was like, during the Bush administration, that was not so long ago, no, man. The Bush administration <laughs> was... Either there was, one, okay. There, people still shaved during the Bush administration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, it gets weirder. What the fuck are we talking? Also, I, I probably wasn't supposed to squeeze myself into that spot that I squeezed, but uh, but you squoze. I, I, I okay. Wait a minute. Anyway, since we went okay. since we went down this rabbit hole, eh. is it necrophilia? Since you say it's not necrophilia for a living person to have sex with a ghost. Yes. What if? What is it if a ghost fucks a corpse? No. Once again, it's still necrophilia then, because the ghost is a living spirit and the corpse is a fucking corpse. It's even worse if they do auto necrophilia, okay? If they oh, like the spirit the, leaves the body and then fucks and the then body? fucks its own body, okay? I mean, Mother of let's God. face it, there's probably people out there who would totally do that to themselves, okay? Dude, uh, I'm there's gonna, probably I'm gonna turn on my fist of power. Is there hentai and just absolutely out there? rail these dudes? Is there hentai out there of Casper the Friendly Ghost? <laughs> That's fucking his own body. No. I mean, do you ever see Casper's body? No, you don't. I don't, know. I don't know what version of Casper the Friendly Ghost you were watching, 
where you see some like you know rotting kid corpse that Casper Graham, first comes of all, from. Okay? That's, I hope there that's, isn't any drawing of that because that I just I just I wasn't thinking of him being a boy. I mean, at least I think he's probably a boy. We don't actually know we that he's a boy. He could be just a just a a jolly adult. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I mean, it's not like he has very defined features. Also, he's a ghost, not a poltergeist. Okay. You know, ghosts are generally a lot like you know the ghosts of of dead adults generally tend to be a lot friendlier than the ghosts of dead children. Yeah, they're either friendly or like uh, just sad, or just or both. Maybe they want to watch everybody while they urinate. That's that's how they that's how they use their or, or, ectoplasmal or people existence. Have sex, or people okay? have sex with them. Yeah, because it's not that uncommon for people to claim ghost sex. Really, I I, I wasn't aware of how common or not it was. I mean, it's not it's not common, but if I have Uko heard of so, it. Uko says so, then Uko is indeed. Well, because here's the thing: he's you the don't know on such that I went such through, matters. I, went, I okay. went through a phase where I read every uh, ghost book in the library when I was I, a kid. I didn't know what kind of phase you were about to talk uh, going through. Not a necrophilia phase. Ew. Having sex with ghosts. Oh, okay. oh now. Oh, it is necrophilia. No, it's just I look. I don't believe I, I. I'm saying it. I don't believe that you're gonna be having sex with a ghost. No, okay? no, it's not. Anybody who says they've had sex with a ghost is lying. It's probably nay, certainly a fucking lie. Okay. Well, you know what's funny <laughs> is one of the theories that you know people have scientific wise, which I'm not sure I subscribe to, but is that maybe like power transformers that go out of whack or whatever could cause you know hallucinations well, people have been claiming that ball lightning was a thing in china since long before uh power transformers well, though wasn't there uh wasn't there some kind of a recent footage of ball yeah, lightning for all we know maybe ball lightning that actually does exist and um that's just that's why people think there's ghosts. That yeah, that that could be the case. But I was gonna say though that if you have, if you if you are, if, if something is, you get ergot poisoning or whatever, <laughs> and, and you start tripping balls and you think you see ghosts and you think you fuck the ghosts, yeah, that really that actually leaves you with kind of sounds like a good time, honestly. That's, yeah, you, you could have you could have a okay, worse poisoning trip out. You could have a worse poisoning trip out. Oh, yeah. I insist. Okay. That, that really is. Uh, that's that's the side. The bread is buttered <laughs> on the good side of the situation. The bread is buttered on the. The glass is half full. Orgasmal side of the situation. The glass situation. is half full of sexual pleasure. We should pleasure. pay some attention to the game at some point here. <laughs> You're okay? right. We <laughs> we apologize. Okay. What the fuck am I even doing here? I I pressed a button. Um. But I these, don't know what the button does. This level design is amazing. Well, By the, thing the way, is, it's 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 a John. This is the John Romero creation, and John Romero creates the best levels. There, there, I fucking said it. Well, it's because Cliffy just, B can suck it. He knows <laughs> how to create mood and atmosphere. I agree. With the, the, and I mean, look at this. Really, really good fucking flow. Okay, where am I? Where am I going though? Okay, do I need a blue key? Something's whispering. Yeah, I know that guy's whispering. He wants to. He wants to. You know, have demon sex with me. Um, I never went through here. Where does it? Where does it even? Ooh, ooh! Rooms full of swag is where it leads me. Okay. Damn right. <laughs> do, okay, do you know what this kind of makes me wish really badly? No. I wish somebody would go through and do what they did for this game for the original arena. Uh, Look, I want Elder people Scrolls to do this to Dark Forces. Okay. Yes. I want a yes, proper Jedi tried... Knight Dark Forces. Or not Jedi Knight, just regular dark, dark forces. Brutal Dark Forces. Wait okay. a minute, okay. Would it work with, with Free Sync or G Sync? Um, I don't know. Because the problem I had with it is that I had to turn uh I had to turn uh V Sync off when I played it a while back. And the tearing was just so real. I could I could totally see I couldn't that. finish okay. playing it. It made me Where Ill. the fuck am I going? Ooh! Ooh! It's always it's always a joyous moment when you find more enemies. <laughs> anyway, we're going to stop here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that schmex a thumbs up button. Spicy Waffle signing out.